Uh. Oh. Oh man, we have a real cowboy calling in. Oh no, fucking oh, way! Jesus Christ! Uh, all right, well let's. Okay, this guy messaged me on Discord. And he says that he's a real cowboy. Um, thank you for watching Boys Online tonight. Um, caller, go ahead. Uh, hold on. Hello? No, hold on. Uh, I just hear birds. I'm sorry, caller. Go ahead. What is your name? Yeah, am I on your program? Hey, yeah. yeah How you're... you doing? Welcome to Boys Online tonight. Uh, this is a uh, welcome to Cowboys Online tonight. Yeah, this is the hottest show um, for cowboys and cow folks. Uh, so you are? Are you a real cowboy? Well, I was, I was on online here looking for Boys Online, looking for cowboys, and uh, seems I've stumbled upon a quite different radio program. But uh, after watching a bit, it seems there's some. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, sorry, sir. This um, I just I want to stop you off the bat. Um, I don't know how tech savvy you are, but this is actually a video game. This is a this is a video game stream. It's on the internet. It's a streaming show. It's not a radio show. What? Well, like a like a moving picture show? Uh, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like a moving picture show. Sure. Would you say, Drew? I would say, technically speaking, it is a picture show. Yeah. Well, I, I, but it sounds like a radio show. I see y'all watching a picture show. I wasn't sure what it was, but I, I thought maybe I could help you boys out with some some of the questions you had and uh, and uh, set some th things straight, maybe. Okay. Wow. That's thank you so much. So you are a real cowboy. Were you around for the era of the uh, the transition from silent films to talkies? Well, you know, back back then the first moving pictures was. Just a, it's just all naked people and vampires, really. Um, well, that makes sense. Uh, well, that's, that's really all there was to do so back then. So as was then, as is now. Yeah, a lot of the internet is full of that stuff, naked people uh, and vampires, and sometimes naked vampires as the well. The basis for most family films. Really all there was to do back then, you see, was fornicate with one another and be scared of vampires. Nowadays, folks would rather avoid people and fornicate with vampires, it would seem, but... <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, that is true. I was yeah. going to say, there's probably a lot of videos of people fornicating with vampires that, I mean, I don't Guaranteed. know personally, but we could probably link you. If you want to join the Discord again, you can go to twitch.tv slash Boys Online tonight and join the Discord there. But, um, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't call to talk woke politics with you boys. I, I think there's some more serious matters at hand. And, um, well, I'm, I'm really kind of just here to fill your, your questions, but I, I got a question for y'all first, and that's... Uh, you know, speaking of vampires and such, seems like everybody seems to be buying into all that. You boys believe in urban legends, vampires and ghosts and apparitions and such? That's a great... Undead. I believe in the legend of Keith Urban. That's a great uh, question. Um, I believe in uh, vampires. Um, I believe in... I believe in mummies. I saw one at a museum. I believe in a thing called love. I've been in love. Um, urban legends. I believe in the Mothman. Um, Drew, what about you? Do you believe in urban legends? We're not talking about Keith Urban. He is a cowboy, but we're t he's a very short Australian cowboy. Yeah. We're talking about he's technically an urban legend. Oh, do you? Right? Uh, sorry, do you? Sorry, sir, uh, sir. What was your name, sir? I'm sorry, cowboy. Not really important, but uh, ah, the if man. you got to the man with the a name, that's not important. That's what. Uh, that's what we call you. Cowboy of you. So do you think... JT. Go ahead. JT? Hey, JD. Put me down as JD if you got to. JD. JD. All right. Jesus Diced. Nice. Uh, JD, my man. Uh, so is Keith Urban not a real cowboy to you? Yes. Okay. So Fair you... So what you, about yeah. Esteban? <laughs> the guitar guy? Well, Keith Urban's the new Esteban, so... I mean, he's more of a... Wandering minstrel selling wares than a cowboy. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. The truer <laughs> words might have never been spoken. Uh, uh, that's a good question. So, yeah, what, what questions do we have for uh, So, I mean, JD. Conrad's main question, J.D., is how does one become rugged? Yeah, and I guess at what age did you know that you were rugged? Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't really know what rugged even means. Uh, I suppose just from listening to you boys talk, it's, Question about a lifestyle that one leads, and uh, 
Hell, I reckon I was rugged the day I was born. I never, uh, never really had a choice in the matter. Wow. Oh, wow. So indoctrinated at childhood. So wow. you are That's, a cowboy through and through. Yeah. Okay. Well, so were you... And, and uh, uh, wearing hats and, and, you know, running around out there, it was hard. People got chased. You couldn't shave very often, and soap so, wasn't invented. So you were around in the cowboy times. So you're 130 years old? That's also not important. Oh, fair. Okay. okay. That was ominous, and I'm not going to press ominous. on. I don't think so I should. So when you said, do we believe in urban legends, are you, in fact, a ghost? No, I am, in fact, a real man. Um, okay. Sounds like as you see, a ghost would say, but. An urban legend is something that was not can be explained. You know, uh, I am talking to you now, so you know I am real. That's true, but, but uh, I can't explain how you're possibly 130 years old well let me tell you this one time i Dude, saw he's a man getting pissed. Get he's gonna open up a can of whoop ass on you sorry go ahead sorry i, I saw and i seen a man eat a prickly pear cactus fruit you know what i'm talking about the, the, the on the cactus the fruit of uh-huh. the, cactus. the pink part turn into, turn into a damn sasquatch dude oh my now, god you tell me that or not. jesus Dang. christ the it, it was a lot rougher in this country back then. I just wrote down a couple of questions for you. Um, so I'll start with this one. Uh, what is one thing that you miss about the old West? The sturdy women. Oh yeah. They were sturdier back then. They had more meat on their bones. I think that's what among the old, other thing. Yeah. That's what the old timey, uh, among other things. What else did they have on their bones? Like deformations. A lot of dirt and such. Dirt oh, on yeah. the bones? Well, sometimes that can, you know, sometimes a natural must. You're sounding is okay. more like a ghost uh, the more you talk. What to is you. okay? Wh- uh, what is so, what is one piece of new technology that you couldn't live without? Coffee making machine. Ah, uh, the Keurig. Ah, mm. uh, don't I know it, brother? It's so easy. You just put the pot in. You know what I mean? <laughs> the water heats up by itself. It's a damn miracle. Uh, used to you, you should have seen how we did it on the on the on the open range. You'd have never drank it. You 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 wouldn't have the patience for it. Oh yeah, I'd, I probably wouldn't even understand it if you told me right now. I mean, you heat up coffee. What's an open range? I'm picturing Is that a type of stove. <laughs> open. Oh uh, well, figurative <laughs> speaking, out there in the open range, you know, the wild. Oh oh, yeah. like. Out, out on oh, I thought range. of a good question. I thought of a good. Cu- I thought of a good Where's question. The deer what? And, the buffalo uh, play? what? and maybe you, maybe you don't know how to answer this. Maybe you do, and maybe there is no answer. Maybe they're just sort of mystical, and we shouldn't question the magic of God. But what is a tumbleweed, and how do, how do they work? See, tumbleweed's a lost soul left behind by its people. Oh wow, it is mystic. Damn, I knew. It. I told you, dude. You owe me five bucks. Uh, no, I reckon they don't really work at all. <laughs> they just kind of float about, you know. Don't yeah. really get nothing. Uh, okay, uh, here's another one. Um, did you personally know any Italian cowboys? Because you know you hear a lot about these Italian cowboys uh, in the movies. I reckon Clint Eastwood was the only Italian cowboy I've ever seen at all. Oh yeah, they uh, called him the Italian Stallion, right? That was his name. That was his nickname. I forgot about that. I think so. Shit, yeah. Now he didn't. That's he didn't cool. have a name. Did he have amnesia or what? What was his deal? Um, a man with no name. Um, uh, I, I think that the writers just couldn't come up with a good name. Yeah, that'll happen. And so they just said, "Oh yeah, have you ever, uh, JD? Have you ever had writer's block?" Well. Man like me stays busy with other things and have a lot of time to sit down and be creative. But uh, I understand. I find the best reasons come to me when I <laughs> when, I, when I'm just sitting at night under the stars and thinking. Yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, I bet there's. I don't. I can't read the chat, but I bet there's a couple people in the boys online tonight chat that would love to read a memoir by you. And so you know, there's no, there no is a yet. market. No one yet. There is a market. Oh, don't say that. There is a market. Um, and so, uh, I'm just going to finish with this question. Um, well, no, I guess, um, I guess I have two. Yeah, I guess I have two questions. What makes a man? No, I mean, what, what makes, what makes a cowboy? No, what makes cow people? 
uh, what's the PC term? What makes what makes cowmen? No, what what makes uh, cow folks? What cow pope? Yeah, how does one identify themselves as um like they've made it into this world of uh, machismo? Well, I reckon uh, being a man means you're prepared to to do the right thing and whatever the cost may be. That and a pair of testicles, of course, if you're asking me, but hell, I reckon you could call me anything you want except late for supper, friend. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, then, okay. Well, you know what? I feel like. Invite this cowboy to supper, JD himself. uh, He will not be late. Yeah. um, So, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't have any more questions for you. Thank you, Otherworldly Spirit. Uh, Thanks for joining. And um, uh, bye bye now. Adios, amigo. One one more thing before we go. Nope. You're cut off. Thank you, JD. Thank you to JD for calling in. Um, (laughs) We appreciate him. Thank you so much, uh, JD. That was a. very informative for our viewers, and I hope that everybody learned a little bit about being a cowboy in that interview. Yeehaw. Uh, 